Hey everybody, Mark here at 8-Minute Axe. Today I'm gonna to play you five classic Led Zeppelin 12-string songs, but I'm gonna throw you a little curve. I think Paige used the 12-string guitar more creatively than any other rock guitarist. But if you're like me, the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Jimmy Page and the 12 string are songs like Over the Hills and Far Away, That's the Way, Tangerine, and of course the live version of the song that shall not be named using this guitar. But Page also had a 65 Fender Electric 12 and a 67 Vox Phantom 12. And he used those guitars extensively and created some of the most memorable songs of all time. So today I'm going to play you my top five Zeppelin electric 12 string songs. And you may be surprised that some of these songs were originally done on the 12 string. Before we get started, I always like to remind everybody that I give away a brand new Van Gogh 12 string guitar package every month. Details on how to enter this month's contest are in the description below. With that said, let's jump right into it. Now trying to rank these songs is like trying to rank my kids, so I'm just going to play them for you in random order. They're all classics. First up is the last track on Zeppelin 4. If you want to play along with the record, you have to tune all the way down to open F. Some say that Page tuned down to open G and that the entire song was then slowed down to open F. Whatever it is, I tuned down to open F and this song is really fun to play when the levee breaks. <laughs> Next up is a song that was originally intended to be an instrumental titled The Overture. It was supposed to run into the rain song. Robert Plant had different ideas for it though and it became the opening track on Houses of the Holy. The beginning of this tune does resemble the Yardbirds tune, Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Sailor. The song remains the same. <laughs> All right, next up is a song that was originally written in 1937 by the great Robert Johnson. Zeppelin recorded this song live on June 24th, 1969 at Aeolian Hall in England. They actually recorded two versions, one where Page is playing an electric 12, one where he's playing an acoustic 12. The more up-tempo version was played on the John Peel show on June 28th. It didn't make its way onto a Zeppelin album until the box set that was released in 1990, Traveling Riverside Blues. <laughs> Next up is a song that was originally on Zeppelin II. It was also the B-side of the Whole Lot of Love single. Page definitely uses his Vox 12 on this. Page also sings background vocals on this tune. Living Loving Maid, She's Just a Woman. All 
right, the last of the five is a song that needs no introduction. You knew it was coming. Probably the most famous 12-string song of all time. Now, I did a video last year where I mentioned that Page plugs his Fender 6512 directly into the board. I've seen other accounts that say he used the Vox on this one or that he used the Vox and the Fender. Whatever he used, he nailed both parts. Stairway to heaven. I do want to make one little disclaimer. I try to do my research and my due diligence on each of these tunes and the facts behind them, but some sources that you would normally deem credible have conflicting views on who used what on what song. So I just try to do my best, that's all I can do. If you have what you believe more accurate information as to which guitar page to use on which song, please leave it in the comments. If you like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you've made it this far, please consider subscribing to the channel. Most importantly though, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.